I think about somebody who's really opposite for me. Um, he and I don't, ha I mean, we're not, we're alike in some ways, but at a lot of time, um, we're really different. I guess I'm very chill. Sometimes he's so spontaneous. Like one time I remember he was like, let's just go to the mountains and go hiking and go hike a waterfall. And part of me was like, I can't do that. I, I have all these things I have to do. I have all these responsibilities for med school. And he was like, no, like we need to do this. She's like down to every last detail. And I'm just kind of like, oh, let me just go with the flow. Whatever happens, happens being a really really good day and a really nice time we had really good talks and um, we just enjoyed ourselves and it was a beautiful waterfall so it's nice that sometimes he's very much about enjoying the moment and like you know other things are important too but we can't get so caught up in being like a chore drone or a responsibility drone that we miss out on our lives and I think she's just really fun but always like is kind of lively and energetic for me that's really nice to always be around Dear Grant, it's kind of wild how quickly this day stuck up on us. I just want you to know how much I love you. I prayed very intentionally for you for a long time. If I was a wiser woman, I would have waited for you, and I'm sorry I didn't, but I suppose even through that, God put us right where we needed to be. I love you so very much, and I'm so excited for where God is taking us. I'm sorry for how impatient I can be. I promise to do better. I promise I'll always love you, and work for us to be strong together. We're always better together than apart. You're an amazing father, and you're going to be a wonderful husband. Thank you for holding me together these last few weeks. You are the greatest gift and blessing from God. Love, Alexa. Alexia, it's hard to believe here in a few hours we'll be married. I know you're probably stressed right now, and a million things are going through your mind, but I want you to know that I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. I promise I will always be here for you through all the good times and the bad times. You make me the happiest guy in the world, and there is no one I would rather spend the rest of my life with. I hope this letter will help you rest just a little during this time and remind you that I love you, and I'm thinking about you, and I'm here for you, and I'll always be here for you. I love you. He'd always been very intentional from when we started dating, like he was dating with a purpose to eventually like get married. He wasn't just dating just to hang out and have fun. And... Um, we kind of, I always, you know, we always talk about marriage probably like the second, like first, second month we ever met. I actually asked her like six months in. Yeah, we were just hanging out watching a movie and he was like, he was like just straightforward like, well, do you want to be my wife? And I said, yeah. But I didn't have a ring, so I was like, oh, is this like, wait a second, is this like official or not? So finally, I guess like a little while later, I got a ring and I was so excited to give it to her. I was just like, let's just go out to eat right now. And took her to a, a restaurant in Greensboro and um, we ate. And uh, I gave her, gave her the ring. I think I forgot to say, will you marry me? And yeah, that was it. We uh, went and got a bottle of champagne and just celebrated, I guess. So. No fancy like skyscraper with fireworks or anything, but that's never something I wanted. I wanted it to be kind of authentic and like true to who we were. And I just, you know, I just wanted a straightforward question. And that was, that was what I got. It was really special to me. I think that it will make Lexi very happy and that 
this will be one of the best days of her life. From day one when I met her, she just like opened her heart and was like wide open to me and just was loved me and never pushed back and never was like, who is this person? Which I later found out uh, she used to talk to Grant because he hasn't dated for most of her life, pretty much as far as she can remember. And she, she had a little talk with him about finding somebody <laughs> and was like, Dad, you need to get out there and start dating. in the next month. Um, we want to get a house and move down to Columbia and her go to school. My hopes are that we we stay as intentional with each other as we are now, that we prioritize each other in terms of like what we want and um, what we want out of life and what we want, um, you know, to do with our lives as time goes on. Um, I hope that for him, it's really important that he goes back to school. I think he's really interested in going to seminary. That's, that's for the short term. Long term is, you know, maybe we'll go around to a different country one day or something like that and do stuff over there. Um, that we just kind of go wherever life takes us, but we do it together. And um, for Scarlett, I just hope that, you know, she continues to love being around us as much as she does now, although with the teenage years coming, who knows how long that'll be true, but, and that, you know, our home can always be like a safe place for her and she can feel comfortable there and, you know, kind of, and that she'll go to college and, you know. I'm staying on this tree. I have to stay on this tree. has just stolen our heart <laughs> from the get go and we absolutely he's not our he's not my son in law he's my son so and we have just expanded our family we didn't we don't have in laws we have family so fortunate that we've uh, gained grant one of the first things that Alexia told me about Grant was how, how much he respected her and that meant the world Thank you.